After a photo of him with disgraced former This Morning presenter Philip Schofield's teenage lover emerged this week, Dr. Ranj Singh has issued a statement. Prior to leaving in 2022, Singh, 43, served as the show's resident medical expert for six years with Schofield and co-host Holly Willoughby. After admitting to one wise, but not illegal affair with a young male colleague on this morning, veteran TV presenter Schofield, 61, resigned from IDV on Friday and was subsequently sacked by his talent agency YMU. Regarding his own exit from the program over the weekend, Singh said he felt managed out for blowing the whistle two years ago when he worked there after raising concerns about bullying and discrimination. After Singh's six-year-old selfie with the child runner at the center of Schofield's resignation surfaced on social media, he tried to defend himself. He said on Twitter saying it was terrible that some people were attempting to hurt others and imply anything from innocent images. So, the following details. I co-worked with Phil's ex at this morning. When we shot this photo in the studio, he was 21 years old. And that was undoubtedly interpreted as a joke. Singh's essay was published just a few days after he became the most recent ex-employee to criticize the program. He stated, I was on the show for 10 years and I genuinely loved and valued working there in a long social media message. But as time went on, I began to worry more and more about what was going on behind the scenes and how I was being treated. Although I was unaware of Philip's true situation, I am aware that TM's problems extend well beyond him. A culture is not created by one person alone. Singh said that because of his extensive involvement in diversity, anti-bullying, and mental health projects throughout the channel, he brought up his concerns with top IDV officials. Then, he said, I discovered myself being used less and less. I even took my concerns directly to the top of ITV. The culture at this morning had changed and was no longer consistent with ITV values, and I felt like I was managed out because I was oblique. But as history and experience have shown us, it may be very difficult to establish shacks of bullying and discrimination, especially in the afterlife and when the people in power are in charge of the narrative. No review or probe is impenetrable, as we've seen. The doctor said that despite assurances that the issues will be resolved and modifications made, he has not since worked on the program and added that two years after filing concerns, it still hurts. We are saddened to read DR. Range's post today, an IDV representative stated, ITV is totally dedicated to giving everyone who works with us the chance to voice any concerns or suggestions they may have. Following DR, Range's allegation, we asked an outside, impartial advisor to conduct a review. There was no proof of bullying or prejudice, according to this independent study. As reported by the Mail when he was just 15 years old, Schofield first met the younger IDV employee with whom he subsequently had an affair on Sunday. The man's attorneys have also stated that the encounter began when he started working at IDV. Schofield's attorneys have verified that they first met when the youngster was 15 years old. Schofield said in a statement on Friday that their relationship started when the younger guy joined the program as an adult. ITV said it looked into rumors of a relationship between Schofield and the IDV employee roughly three years ago, but both parties categorically and again rejected it. In its investigation of the situation in 2020, ITV, according to a spokesman for the network, was not provided with, and did not find, any evidence of relationship beyond hearsay and rumor. Philip's statement yesterday reveals that he lied to people at ITV, from senior management to fellow presenters, to YMU, to the media, and to others over this relationship, the spokesman added. The broadcaster said that it was extremely saddened by Schofield's admissions of dishonesty after he talked openly about the relationship. In a statement shared on Instagram on Saturday, longtime co-host Willoughby stated, When reports of this relationship first surfaced, I asked Phil directly if this was true and was told it was not. Now that I know this was a lie, it has wounded me a lot. Schofield expressed regret for lying about the connection in his own statement. The first thing he said was, I am deeply sorry for having lied to them the Daily Mail, as well as to many others, about a relationship that I had with someone working on this morning. 
at this morning, I did have a consensual, on-and-off relationship with a younger male colleague. I haven't been honest about the connection, he said in an effort to protect my ex-colleague. However, my recent, unrelated departure from this morning sparked rumors and inquiries that have been affecting him, so it is vital for me to be honest now for his sake. In the wake of Schofield's shocking admission on Friday that he had one wise but not illegal connection with a younger male employee, Singh isn't the only this morning host who has been exposed. According to PR guru Mark Burkowski, Willoughby, who is scheduled to return to the program on Monday, June 5, following a two-week family vacation, may decide to stay off the air longer in a last-ditch effort to stay out of trouble. He said that in order to secure her future, the team behind ITV's Golden Girl, including her advisors, agents, and attorneys, will now need to come up with the goods. According to Burkowski, Holly needs to take some time off and avoid making headlines. Disappearing from view in public, she obviously won't be doing TV right now, but she may decide to continue. She is the neighbor girl, she has big business transactions, is obviously talented, and is much admired. He continued by saying that Willoughby must now prove to viewers that she is trustworthy, since many are wondering who at the channel was aware of Schofield's connection with his colleague. Just because you're a celebrity you are held to a higher degree of scrutiny but every human fails. There is drama in everyone's lives, he remarked in reference to IDV's perky breakfast host, in my opinion, we still don't know, and she needs to win back the audience's faith by making her representatives work really hard to make up for any ground that could have been lost. Eamon Holmes, a former co-worker on This Morning, alleged that IDV had engaged in a total cover-up of Schofield's relationship and that those in authority had to know about it since the guy was shuttled between Schofield's apartment and the studios in cabs that were paid for by IDV. He said to Dan Wooten, a fellow GB News presenter, yesterday night that he had made the decision to speak out for people who hadn't got a voice. He said that the younger guy whose identity mail in line has chosen to withhold had been severely injured by Schofield and implied that he was a victim of the man he called a chief narcissist. He explained, he clearly stayed the night on Thursdays when he and Philip went out to play. Records demonstrate that he was brought in the next day in different automobiles purchased by IDV. He described the younger guy as lovely and a really good talented fella, and claimed that the Friday morning cab ride to work was a cover-up by ITV executives. If Philip didn't pay the invoices individually, it would still need to go via the account's office, the man explained. If they had seen that, they would have known. Yesterday, Schofield posted on Instagram to defend himself and the program he has hosted for more than 20 years. I feel free to say this now that I no longer work on this morning. I'm sure you've observed that the strongest voices always tend to come from the same small group of folks who have something against me or the program. The best cast members may be seen working on this morning. There was never any toxicity for the entire time I worked there. On Wooten's program last night, Holmes responded to the assertion and attacked co-host Holly Willoughby of Schofield's. He stated Schofield was so impolite. What world does this man reside on with his crap about poison, it being a joyful place, and whatever else? He cultivated a hostile environment where people avoided him in the hallway, didn't look at anybody, and didn't know anyone's name. Holly is also illiterate when it comes to names. The production crew considers their disinterest and lack of concern to be legendary. Holly should follow Philip out the door in addition to him. You probably won't ever see Holly back on the couch. Schofield, according to Holmes, would bring his ex-girlfriend back to his $1 million apartment in a posh building at White City in West London. According to reports, the couple arrived through a nearby hotel to allay any rumors of their illicit liaisons. Schofield confessed to lying about the connection on Friday, causing ITV to collapse and losing millions of pounds in advertising agreements as a result. Holmes also said that Phil's ex-lover, whom he called a lovely fellow but added that life is tough for him, was still in contact with his wife Ruth Langsford. 
ITV's crisis, according to Holmes, is being completely covered up. Those in charge needed to be aware. They needed to be aware of what was happening and believed they could avoid danger, which they did and continue to do. All I'm here to do is speak on behalf of people who hadn't had a voice, the speaker declares. ITV has been contacted by mail in line for comment. According to sources close to Schofield, the interview revealed that Philip was not at his best at the time. If Eamon Holmes wants to treat someone in Philip's situation that way, I believe that speaks more about Eamon than it does about Philip. Kevin Ligo, managing director of media and entertainment at IDV, resisted questions about Schofield when confronted by a GB News producer while walking down the street. When questioned if the encounter had been covered up outside of a station, Mr. Ligo walked away and said, we really have no more to say.